section 5.4 is the greatest common factor and factor by grouping. So we're going to be looking at two different concepts in this lesson. Real quick before we get started on this, if you look down here and I have the problem 2x times x plus 4. In a previous lesson I taught you to distribute this and you would multiply it out and get 2x squared plus 8x. Okay, that's the distributive property. Well, going from this answer and working backwards to this is factoring. And that's the idea we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be kind of doing the inverse of what I, when I taught you how to distribute in a previous lesson. So when I say factor, that's the idea that we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking out the greatest common factor. So in number one, if I look at this term, and I look at this term, your greatest common factor is the biggest factor you can take out of both of them, which I'm going to say is a 6. And I'm going to put that on the outside of a parenthesis. And as some people, it helps them to divide every term by 6. And it helps them to see it. So 18 divided by 6 is a 3. Keep the x. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So this is factored form. Okay? Number 2... When we look at these two terms, I want to what's their greatest common factor? I'm going to say a 4. This one has 2y squared, and this one has y to the third, but they at least both have a y squared in them. So I'm going to put it outside of parentheses. Now, it helps sometimes, and you don't have to do this. The more you do this, the less, uh, the more practice you get, the less you'll have to write all this out. But if it helps you, do it. It's your preference. If you notice, these cancel, and it simplifies to just a 1. Now, 16 divided by 4 is a 4. Keep that minus. Okay, this one has an x, so keep the x. And then we also have um, y cubed and a y squared, so there's one y left over, and it's in the top. So when I simplify this, and factor it out, I'm going to factor a 4y squared. This is the GCF. And when I factor it out, I'm left with 1 minus 4xy. So this is the factored form. Number 3, my greatest common factor, number 3, it has to be in all of them. So I'm going to look at my coefficients first and say they all have at least a 2. And I also see this one has x to the 5th, x to the 4th, x to the 3rd. They all have at least... Let me back up a second there. They all have at least an x to the third in them. So I want to, if it helps me, divide everything by 2x to the third. Divide the greatest common factor out of each term. And simplify. So 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3x squared. Negative, and I'll do this term, negative 8 divided by 2 is a negative 4. And I have 1x left over from subtracting, and then these two cancel, so I have one as a placeholder. And now I'm going to look at number four. I need to see what do all four of these terms have in common? What's the greatest common factor? Um, thinking of six. Do they all have at least one A in them? Yes. And do they all have at least one B in them? Yes, they do. So if I were to divide every term in here by 6AB, okay, divide by 6AB, what would be left is going to be 12 divided by 6 is a 2. Remember, when you divide like bases, subtract the exponents. 3 minus 1 is 2, and it's left in the top. This B cancels this B. Now I'll move to the next term. Negative 6 divided by a positive 6 is a negative 1. A's cancel, B's cancel. And then I'm going to move to the next term. 18 divided by 6 is going to be 3. A's cancel. I have a B left over in the top. And then my last term, negative 18 divided by 6 is a negative 3. I have an A left and B's cancel out. So this would be 
factor form. Okay, number five is more like a visual. When I have this term and then I have this term, well, it's obvious to see what they both have in common. It's obvious to see that they both have an x minus 4 in parentheses in common. So if that's going to be my first factor, then what's left over on the outside becomes the other one. So I have a 2, and then that's plus 3y. And there's nothing more I can do to that one. And likewise, in number 6, whenever my parentheses are identical, that means it's one of the factors, z plus 7. And then what is left on the outside of those is going to be the other factor. And there's also a known what's there, a known 1. So that's 2x plus 1. So our first page, what we worked on was just factoring out a greatest common factor. And then um, we're going to move on and do factor by grouping in just a second. Okay, factor by grouping is most of the time, most often used when you have four, at least four terms, okay? When I try to take a GCF out, this one has an A, an A, no A, so I can't take an A out of this whole entire thing. This one has a B, but this one doesn't. And then this one is a coefficient of a 1, so I have nothing that all of these terms have in common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor by grouping, and some of this is a trial and error. I typically always try to group the first two, and then always try to group the second two terms. And I try to decide what do the first two terms have in common. Just lo looking at the first one, they both have an A. Okay, if I divide an A out of this term, I have just B left. And if I divide an A out of this term, I have a 3 left. All right, now I want to focus on my second parenthesis. And these two terms both have a 2 in them, so I'm going to say plus 2, a positive 2 in them. And if I divide this one by a positive 2, I have a B left. And if I divide this by a positive 2, I have a 3 left. And we will notice, just like our previous problems, when these parentheses, parentheses matched up, it was one of our factors, and what's left on the outside becomes our other factor. So then that becomes a plus 2. And this is our factor by grouping process. Okay, so let's look at number 8. I don't see any greatest common factor in all four of these terms. So I'm going to attempt to group the first two and group the second two. In blue, I'm going to factor out an A, so I'll be left with C plus 4 if I take an A out of every term. And then in the red, I'm going to divide out a negative 2, so that's going to leave me with C plus 4. Once again, our parentheses matched identical, so it becomes one of our factors, C plus 4. And then we have... A minus 2, what's on the outside is our other factor. 